Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys five easy expressions that you must know in After Effects. Let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're going over the top five expressions that you have to know if you're an After Effects user. For those of you who don't know, expressions are basically like little lines of code that you can implement in your After Effects timeline, and it'll basically just help speed up your editing workflow and create little programs so that you don't have to go and meticulously keyframe or tweak things into certain ways so you can create better animations, better motion graphics, and just overall speed up your editing workflow as a video editor. Now don't freak out, I know it looks pretty daunting from the look of it because it looks like a bunch of code and don't worry we're not going to go into like a full HTML like computer programming course right now they're basically really just copy and paste codes that I'm going to be attaching in a Google Docs link down below in the description so throughout the tutorial you can just follow that document and just copy and paste the expressions as we go and I'll be showing you how they work how you can use them and how you can like change the values so that you can fit them to your edits now before you hop into the tutorial as always if you're interested in speeding up your editing workflow definitely make sure to check out our preset packs at 11percent.net there we have a bunch of crazy video editing preset packs that will just help speed up your editing workflow. We have preset packs ranging from title card templates all the way to 3D Chrome overlay visual effects. And we also recently just dropped a new CRT overlay effects pack, which is absolutely insane, made with a real authentic CRT TV. So if you're interested in adding extra visual effects to your video products, but don't have the time, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. Seriously, these presets save me so much time while editing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of After Effects, the first expression which we are going to be going over is going to be the loop expression okay so by the way I have a Google Doc which I'll be linking below in the description which I have basically all the codes to all the expressions that we're gonna be using so you can go ahead and check that out in the description the first one we're using is loop so right here I have a clip um, of my subject right here and he's rotoscoped out by the way so there's two layers the bottom layer is the uh, the original and the top layer is the rotoscope if you don't know how to rotoscope you can go ahead and check out this video right here but let's go ahead and duplicate this rotoscope top layer I'm gonna hit command D to duplicate that and then in this middle layer right here we are gonna go over to here to our effects and presets and we're search for trans Form effect okay we're gonna drag the transform effect to the middle layer right there and then we're gonna hit the drop down on this layer and make sure we hit the drop down on effects and the drop down and transform under effects not the original transform uh, settings and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a couple keyframes in to the clip hit a keyframe at position and then go a couple keyframes later and keyframe my subject so that he slides all the way to the right now we kind of have a nice little basic simple animation of our subject moving to the right I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this and just right click these keyframe assist them and easy ease in because we don't use any linear keyframes here on 11% everything always has to be smooth animation so now we have this kind of like cool sliding animation effect now for the actual expression I'm gonna go ahead and hold option or alt if you're on PC and I'm going to click the keyframe of my position right here under the effects transform okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type right here in this this little expression area that opened up I'm going to type loop out and you're going to click loop out boom right there click on it and now we are going to see that once we play this out it is just basically going to loop that animation that we made a bunch of times over and over and over again uh, until the video clip is over and now this expression is super important especially if you want to make cool music video effects such as this one where you don't have to keep reanimating this or use an offset effect or anything like that and it's just really easy saves you a bunch of time let's go ahead and just tune this really quick because it can't leave this raw like this it looks terrible I'm gonna unclick the shutter speed composition crank up that shutter angle so we get some nice motion blur then I'm gonna come to my effects and apply an echo just to make this a little bit cooler and apply this to that middle layer we're going to increase the number of echoes to eight and change that uh, let's keep it at add there you go and now if you play this out you can see we have this sick like repeating echo effect from our subject I don't know I just think that looks pretty cool very simple usage of the loop expression and by the way you can use this loop uh, expression for motion graphics let's say you want to repeat some animations very easy saves you a bunch of time so you don't have to do things over and over again moving on to our second expression we are going to be using the time expression now let's go ahead and delete these two effects that we've applied so we're going to delete the echo and transform uh, from this previous effect and let's go ahead and apply a turbulence displace I'm gonna drag the turbulence displace onto my middle layer once again and then I'm just gonna crank up the size um, and then I'm just gonna go to my transform and just increase that scale a bit so we have some cool like 
trippy looking animation right here. Now the time effect is really time saving, hence the name, because it basically allows you to not have to once again loop and just change values and keyframe. Uh, it does it all automatically. So I'm gonna hit the drop down on this turbulence displace and let's go to this evolution. I'm gonna hold option and alt on the evolution keyframe right here and I'm going to type time in the expression area, hit Astra and we are gonna type something like 40, let's do 45, boom, there we go. And now you can see if we play this out, it's kind of hard to tell, but we actually have some like evolution with the actual effect that's going on right here. So the evolution is actually animating all on its own. You can see if we increase this to something like 450, you'll definitely be able to see it. But we applied no keyframes and now we have this sick turbulence displace effect going on right here. I don't know, I think, I think it looks really cool, uh, especially if we add some really cooler effects like a glow. Let's just add a glow right here and let's increase that radius a bit and the threshold. So boom, now you can see the time expression effect really in action right here. As you can see, we have no keyframes at all in the evolution. All we did was enter this time, astra, whatever time value that you want to increase the effect value by. Um, and there we go, we have a self animating, nice trippy turbulence displace effect going on right here. I think that looks pretty cool if you ask me. Moving on to our third expression, we are gonna go ahead and turn off the visibility on all of these layers. We're gonna go ahead and start messing around with some cool text. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my text tool and let's go ahead and put in some nice text. Okay guys, so now that we have our nice text layer right here, what we're gonna first do before you actually add any expressions, I'm gonna go to my effects and presets. I'm gonna search for a slider control. I'm gonna apply this to our text layer and then I'm going to right click the slider control in the effects panel and let's rename this to speed with a capital S. That's very important by the way for this expression. Now let's go ahead and go into our expression document. I'm going to copy the typing expression right here that we have, command C. And then I'm gonna come back to After Effects. I'm going to hit the drop down on our text, hold Option or Alt if you're on PC and click the keyframe icon under source text. I'm gonna select the uh, text area and the expression panel and I'm going to paste our expression. Now, you're gonna see nothing absolutely happened. It looks like our text disappeared, but that is because our slider value is set to zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the slider value to something like, let's do 24. And basically that means there's gonna be 24 letters appearing per second. Um, of course, you can adjust that to however you like. And boom, there you go. You can see we have a sick like typing animation effect. That's kind of fast for me. So I'm gonna decrease that maybe to something like 15. And it's really cool because we have this slider tool that we can just use to adjust the, the speed of everything and if this little index cursor flashing thing is too fast for you then you could go ahead into the math round and you could just basically mess around with the percentages so you can increase this to something like maybe 12 I think that would make it slower hopefully oh yeah that definitely made it slower so I'm gonna maybe put it something like let's do eight uh, let's see how, how fast that flashes all right perfect there we go and there you go now you have some nice animated text typing effect and of course just to spice out this effect we can't just leave it bare bones like this i'm gonna just go ahead and add some venetian blinds set this to about 90 degrees and then i'm going to increase the completion to something about 35 percent and then let's go ahead and just add some glow to top it off and boom there we go now we have a nice looking like matrix coding typing effect going on right there. I think that looks dope if you ask me. Moving on to our fourth expression is going to be the posterized time expression. Now, of course there is a posterized time effect. If you search in your effects and presets, we have this effect right here. If you wanna create some uh, lower frame rate effects, but let's say for example, you want to change the frame rate of just a specific attribute or specific effect on your layer. So let's say for example, you want to change the frame rate of just the rotation, but you wanna keep the position scale and pass everything else the same so what I can do there's an expression for that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and hold option or all if you're on PC and select the keyframe icon for a rotation and now I'm gonna type posterize time into the expression panel and I'm gonna select the posterize time suggestion that After Effects is giving me and you can of course go ahead and copy this from the document and I'm going to now enter the frame rate that I want so let's say I want it at 12 frames per second now for this effect to work, you also have to combine it with a time expression, which we went over earlier. And we're just going to enter like time astra, maybe 60 degrees. And basically now what's gonna happen is um, it's spinning, but it's spinning at a frame rate of only 12 frames per second. You can see that's pretty cool. It looks like this nice little stop motion animation. And that's just a really easy, simple way to go ahead and add some cool stop motion looking motion graphics to your effects, specifically effect by effect. And now for our fifth and final expression, 
we are going to be using the wiggle expression on after effects and basically what this is is a camera shake emulator built inside of an expression after effects now for this one i'm going back to our original source clip layer right here without all the adjustment layers and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going ahead and searching for a slider control value and applying this uh, from our effects and presets to our base layer and now once we have that slider control value added i'm going to go ahead and hold option or alt um, if you're on pc and select the position position keyframe right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and type in our wiggle expression. We're going to select this suggestion that After Effects is giving us and we're going to type 10 comma. And before you finish typing that, we're going to take the pick whip tool and drag it to our slider value and boom there you go now we have nothing happened the reason for that is because our slider value is set to zero and you can see if we go ahead and increase that uh, and we play that out now we have a bunch of crazy camera shape going on right here it looks like a seizure is happening to the cameraman like I, I don't know it looks absolutely crazy but the cool thing about this is that you can actually go ahead and keyframe the slider so let's go ahead and set the slider back to zero let's set it to zero right here before he puts his hand on his face and then when he puts his hand over his face we're going to increase that to something like 32 and then i'm going to go a couple keyframes after and set that back to zero and basically now we have a little mini artificial camera shake it's kind of mild um, because our value is pretty low but of course you can just go ahead adjust that increase the value for however much you want so let's set it up to like 322 and boom there we go that right there is definitely a lot more dramatic and of course to um, definitely spice this up we can go ahead and add some motion blur so i can just add some force pixel motion blur right here with our effects and i can increase the motion blur samples a bunch so that we have some more motion blur going on right here and of course to make this more realistic i'm going to go ahead and add a pixel motion blur right here and you can see if we play that out boom there we go we have a crazy nice camera shake effect that we created using only an expression and with that guys those are the five essential must know expressions inside of after effects here are the final results If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any value or help from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so really it means the world. I hope now you have a better understanding of expressions, what they are and how you can use them. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns, definitely be sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And once again, if you're interested in speeding up your editing workflow, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net, link in the description, bunch of crazy preset packs, bunch of crazy template packs. We have title card packs and we're just constantly dropping packs and additionally i just want to mention we do offer the opportunity for other editors to become sellers on our website so if you're interested in making some preset packs of your own if you have a cool look that people are always like oh my god how did you edit that in a video like what is your editing workflow and you're interested in making some extra passive income as a video editor i definitely make sure to check out the earn link in the description that's where you can sign up to apply as a seller it's completely free no upfront costs and we actually give a full in-depth course on how to make preset packs and templates for those of you who don't even know where to start with making mogurts and stuff like that but if you're interested i definitely make sure to check out the link in the description at 11percent.net earn once again thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace